a suit doesn't make a man. Well, what are you waiting for? I haven't finished my drink. The Continental was one of the most highly expected TV shows of 2023. And let me tell you, it was well worth to wait. The show released its first episode this week and is about to release the second one. The good news is that each episode lasts about 90 minutes, meaning that once you finish an episode, you feel like you have watched a movie. The bad news is that there will be only three episodes. Yes, I know that it is outrageous to have only three episodes of a show and is triggering our Sherlock trauma. After all, it is far from nice to wait for almost two years for a new season of a show and then get only three episodes. That being said, the production quality and the satisfying and clever script are more than pleasing, at least in the case of The Continental. So I feel like right before the release of second episode, we should take a look at the first episode and see how the show can progress from this point on. Are you ready for the ride? Great, then let's go. First of all, let me clear out one thing. I don't think that you have to watch the John Wick series first to get enjoyment out of this particular show. Nevertheless, it is also clear that if you are already a John Wick fan like me, the show hits on another level. I mean, for starters, we are watching the origin story of Winston Scott, the owner of the Continental in the John Wick franchise, and guess who is he fighting against? Well, none other than a man named Cormac, who was portrayed by Mel Gibson. Yes, you heard it right. This show is marking the return of Mel Gibson to the screen among all the other things, and I'm very much excited about it. So what exactly is the Continental? If you watch John Wick, you know that the Continental hotels are considered neutral territory, where no business, aka assassinations, is allowed to take place on the premises. This rule is strictly enforced by the management of the Continental, and anyone who breaks it faces severe consequences, including being declared excommunicado by the criminal community. In the show, we see that this rule was set way before Winston's time as Cormac underlined clearly that excommunicado means you're fucked. Now, in a nutshell, the TV show tells the story of Winston taking the Continental from the hands of Cormac and establishing his new order that we watch in John Wick. But the first episode was not exactly about that. Instead, it was about Winston and his estranged brother Frankie, and how his untimely death triggered some things in Winston, urging him to take a brand new path in his life, aiming at destroying Cormac. Let me go back to the very beginning. The story unfolds in New York City during the late 1970s on New Year's Eve. This is where we encounter Frankie, who Frankie infiltrates the Continental's vault with the intention of stealing a coin press. If you watch John Wick, you know that these gold coins hold dual significance as they represent a universal currency and a symbol of membership within the clandestine society. The currency used within the Continental is a gold coin with a distinct design and these coins are used to pay for various services, including hotel stays, weapons, and information. So you can imagine the outrage Cormac had once he figured out that the press was missing. He forcibly brings Winston from London to NYC and orders him to find his brother. Frankie and Winston, who once served as obedient errand boys for Cormac during their youth, now find themselves under his control. It's disclosed later in the episode that their father lost the family home due to a debt to Cormac, leading the brothers to endure life on the streets. But Frankie endeavored to shield Winston from the criminal path and succeeded it. Now, by stealing the coin press, he wants to do the same for himself, as he wants to get out and have a proper life with his wife, and yet he miserably fails. Frankie briefly mentions his theft of the coin press for a group known as the Nihilists, all in pursuit of a way out. Yet they betray him, leaving him ensnared in a seemingly inescapable predicament. In the end, to save his brother and wife, he sacrifices himself and gets killed by Cormac's men. So Winston, who had nothing to do with any of these in the beginning, is burning with the fire of revenge, as he took the oath to tackle Cormac. In other words, the real story finally begins. I'm not sure what will be the path of Winston in hunting Cormac down. However, I'm sure that he will somehow join his forces with the detective lady and reveal all the secrets of this dark society. I mean, even if the scenario was meaningless, I would have watched the series simply for the action scenes. Thankfully though, the scenario is top notch and I cannot wait for the next episode. But what about you? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.